Hi, my name is Kelsey Matthew, and I basically just wanted to explain to some of you guys today how a standard mechanical marker works. I have here a view loader uh, mechanical blowback, and just want to go through some of the parts in it so you know what I'm talking about when I explain it. So you've got here your poppet, which is this little white piece, uh, and then you've got your valve right next to that. This here is your ram or hammer. And right underneath that, you've got your sear. And then this pin here holds the bolt and the ram together so that they can move simultaneously. Uh, and then you've got your detents up here. So basically, your air is going to start down here in the tank, travel down it to here through your hose, up through your gas line grip, which in most guns is going to be a regulator then travel into this chamber here then as you pull the trigger this sear is going to be released down allowing the ram to blow forward and then that will push the round into the chamber allowing it to be ready to be fired so this ram will travel forward push this pin right in front of the valve and allow this poppet to get pushed out and then from there you'll have the air that was trapped in this chamber travel through the valve up into the bolt and then that will allow the ball to be fired out through the barrel and then simultaneously the air that travels through this valve will come back through hit this ram and allow the ram to come back and get recocked as it catches this sear all right so that's the basics of how a mechanical marker works. In this case, it was the blowback view loader. Um, I, I really liked looking at the insides of this guns because someone um, milled this in half so you could basically see all the internals, which really helped me out, not because it showed me how a mechanical marker necessarily works, but it showed me how the different parts of it work. So it showed me how the valve works or how a sear works or just simply being able to fire the ball so I could take those components and apply it to my gun and how my gun works even though it is electronic. So I also was able to take from this the fact that if something like this o-ring that's attached to the ram here was torn or broken that you would be able to determine that if you had a leak here that you would not be able to recock the marker because that o-ring would not be able to trap that air so that the ram could be recocked. So that helped me with being able to learn how to to know what's wrong when you do see a leak and um, what o-rings to fix. So I hope this helped you guys out um, and again you can find me on Facebook if you have any questions for me so I hope to be talking to you guys again soon. The way I put it together In my head flashing images dancing Random order to form a storyline A portrait of hope A pull avoid in moments in time When the sun shines brilliantly upon me I stand back and meditate calmly Clearly am I calling But more often than not it feels disconnected